Once again, a huge shout out to all of our supporters over at patreon.com, 87.8 Survivor FM, and all of our YouTube members. I want to give a special shout out to our Patreon supporters. Our production managers tier, Florida AF, Big Dog, Shane Murphy, Tank Dazza, and our producers, Jake Snow, Red Freedom 3739. I also want to give a special shout out to our YouTube members, Kenny Baker, King Alabar, Muddy Track Links, and Jake is Zero Cool. I also want to give a big thank you for our stream donations, Melbourne and Jacob. Without all of your support, this show wouldn't be able to go on. All of you are legends who help the show go on each and every single week. Thank you for all of your support, even just by watching or listening each week to the podcast, and we hope you enjoy this week's show. Also, a shout out to all of the team behind the show. Project Lemons, Dom Gra, Marks, Dancer Jesus, Jacob Mango, The One, Foxy Port. Without all of these people behind the show, it really wouldn't have been a possibility. Thank you, everybody, for watching and helping with the Daisy Podcast. Hi. What are you doing here? <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to episode 110 of the Daisy Podcast. Hope everyone's doing alright, I hope everyone's had a lovely week. I am joined today by my good friends Dump and Lemons. How are you guys doing today? Not too bad. Uh, no, no, nice, very nice, good stuff. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear it. Really, really, I'm glad to hear it. What have you guys been up to? Puttering through life. Uh, I've been working on the ammo making and forging compatibility update for my mods and mm. uh, just trying to catch up on Daisy news <coughs> and patch notes and stuff. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, because you've I've seen you been um, I get notifications on my phone and you know you, you've been streaming quite a bit on your YouTube channel, but uh, very nice. Good stuff. And what about yourself, Lemons? Working very hard in Zagoria, I assume. Well, trying to. I've yeah. been I've been baking in the heat this week, so <laughs> <laughs> I get fucked. <laughs> it's it's been hard trying to uh it's been definitely hard trying to concentrate and stay stay on like kind of keep focus with Absolutely. the temperatures in here, but you gotta power through, man. Well yeah, you gotta yeah, power it's, through, so it's yeah. oh, no trust as I know that feeling. I like it's funny because like last week and like like last couple of weeks we've had like a really bad like heat wave. Like the heat in the UK was like really, really bad. So um I bought myself like this tall oscillating like fan. It's got like a temperature gauge. It's like, oh, it's really fancy, right? My room gets up to bloody 30 with this fucking piece of crap on my desk, my PC. And I'm thinking, oh, you know, it's going to be great. You know, it's going to help deal with the heat wave. Practically all week we've had rain. Practically all week. Torrential downpour today. There was flash floods around where I was working. I'm like, are you kidding me? And of course, that affected my hair fever. So I know the feeling. I know the feeling. <clears throat> but yeah. it has been a very, very interesting week, actually. Quite a quite a few surprises. <clears throat> One of which I completely missed because I was at work, and I'm so annoyed about that. And that was um, the Daisy team uh, live streaming. But we'll um, we'll get to that. There's been quite a few other things that's been going on around the community. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to get up the agenda on my phone. I really need a third monitor. Holy shit, I really, really do. But it has been fairly interesting. I've been trying to keep on top of it as much this week. But one thing that's been going on, which really took my interest, I saw it on Reddit. Um, Yellow King Graffiti has been found on the mine tunnel entrances on both Livonia and Chinaris. I'm not too sure when it was added, but people on Reddit started to notice. Have you guys? Uh, what, what? What do you? What do you guys think? Speculation time. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, oh. Um, <clears throat> to be honest, unless someone backs up the official fire files, um, I'm not sure if it came this update or if it's just been an overlooked thing. Yeah. The fact is, is that graffiti is easily, easily overlooked. You have to be looking for it to find it, and maybe uh, someone's finally stumbled upon it. Maybe it's been in the game since uh, the Toxic Zones. Who knows? 
well, that's it. We we'll just we we'll just don't actually know unless we we do go through it. I mean, I know there are methods to go back through the file, so unless somebody actually takes the time out of the day to to do that, then well, we'll... I can actually make a comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> I was working on um when I was working on Zagoria <laughs> before it got released because I was doing a lot of my work through experimental. Yes. When I had started doing stuff with the original static stuff and I was por like exporting it all so I could re-import into 1.18. The mine shaft, like the land under, underscore mine shaft, at that point did not have the graffiti on it. So it's very recent. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> okay. All right. So it is a very, very recent thing. <clears throat> I do know that people, um, I do know that people on the subreddit they were going on about it. Um, <clears throat> and I'll get the picture. Um, I, I judge that you guys have already got the picture on your end, so I'm just going to show this for our yep. viewers. So, if you're wondering what that means, it's this thing on the left-hand side of the door. Now, there has been some speculation into what it could mean. Um, you know, there, there are people theorizing that there's going to be underground sections introduced... I'm I'm skeptical of that since Daisy doesn't typically support what other game engines and other games would class as underground. What they'd have to do is essentially make a big ass trench, and then cover it with a bunch of planes, uh, just la like planes of the grass texture scaled correctly to the world, and then go on from there. Um, why they done it for? Well, see, this thing, this is what I'm... <laughs> my brain! <laughs> this is kind of what I'm thinking. If they decided to make it more secretive, they could have simply just created another class, this model, and... Oh, it would be great if... if, uh, if Discord didn't crash. <laughs> you Joy. missed it, man. We both, uh, in, oh, uh... We both... In, at the same time, said, uh oh. <laughs> God, I love Discord. It's so fun. Anyway. Oh, man. <laughs> I, was, I was wondering why you guys were a bit quiet, to be fair. But yes, so, as I was saying, what, what, what did you last actually catch? You were saying about, uh, you were explaining about uh, the planes? Yes. About the planes ones more secret planes. about it. Yes, yeah. so the underground planes... Uh, so the underground is essentially a trench, and covering the top of it is a um, is a plane, like a plane of the grass texture that is being used, scaled correctly to the rest, and then you know with the actual like grass models added on top. That's how Namalsk has done it. Um, so maybe maybe they'll do that kind of thing, but at the same time. <clears throat> I don't understand why they just couldn't create another class with another version of the model with that texture on and then had it specific. Because having it yeah. through every single mine tunnel is um it's a bit weird, but it's a it's I think it's still good because it's like oh and it leads to this kind of whole speculation thing. But So I do you... have a bit of an opinion on that. Okay. <laughs> um for those who have been on Genoris for a long time and have played its like the map very early on, know that there is a lot of underground areas that were in the map originally that were removed as updates mm -hmm. came on and progressed. So there, it could go either two ways. They could add back a lot of those locations, and that could be the the big thing. Or what I'm thinking too is. If they removed all that stuff back then, what would encourage them to add all that back now? You know. Yeah, because they 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 went out of their way to remove a lot of those underground locations beforehand. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's kind of like it's 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 a it's a it's a weird thing. Um. Because I, I know for for quite some time people were wanting, like the underground caves to come back. They were absolutely wanting it, and. Mm. I know for... And there's that one military location, too. Uh, I forget where it was. Uh, and then you could go down. It was like the waste area. There's like some sort of waste or something. Are you talking about over by... Uh, above Sarah, Sarah Red? 
Yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Kamensk has got like a good prime example, but one good example is actually Tizzy. Um with the um with the basement, yeah. yeah. It would be really um, funny if it turns out that uh both maps are getting a big underground section. That would be so funny. That would be really cool. What I think honestly is happening is the developers are trying to progress the Yellow King story and they wanted people to find it no matter what. So hmm. they did a mass edit. You know, they just added the one one folder. I don't know if we're going to get back uh, underground things because like Lad said, there were reasons why they removed it. Yeah. As well as the technical difficulties like Lad talked about. I think if we ever get underground things, it's going to be a new terrain underneath the map and they're going to utilize the same thing modders have been utilizing for the past, like, two years, where you get teleported. That would be that would be an interesting method, but it would still be a bunch of models that have to be used and connected, because obviously you can't yeah. add terrain on. The only terrain. issue is, I don't think they would take that kind of approach, because as we know, Bohemia always tries to go for the most seamless sort of thing with yeah. games, and if they yeah. have to do something that calls players into a different environment or has to teleport them, I don't know if they would really try to attempt that, you know? Because it just kind of... I think it's good for some of those servers, but it kind of takes away a bit of immersion, not actually entering those areas and knowing that you've kind of been teleported to it, unless they unless they kind of executed it properly. Because mm -hmm. if I know that I was teleported to a different location, I mean, it's it kind of takes away from it. Yeah. yeah. But That's if they had animation... Theory. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah. My third theory is that these mine areas are going to get an overhaul. Much like the city on the coast. Maybe the Yellow King symbol is going to be more survivalist kind of camps and other things like everybody for God knows how long has been telling Daisy to do. Um, this could be really cool because they've been progressing the storyline that the Yellow King has been taking over things slash getting people to work with him. So would it be outrageous for us to think of him helping himself set up like places of like actual work and stuff? Yeah, it would be an interesting it's thing. It would. It. I think. I don't know what I think. <laughs> uh, right, Tyson. <laughs> yes, we actually just mentioned Kamensk just before. Um, I I do think that we if, if there's going to be some access to mines or something like that, then we're probably going to get another type of explosive dynamite. That would be a pretty interesting item. Well, we have the we have the improvised the C four explosives now, the plastic. The the plastic explosives, yes. Yeah, so dynamite that'll be that'll be that'll be that'll be great to use. Holy shit! Use a lighter and I'd be terrified to throw it. <laughs> <laughs> but I I do think that obviously. It's been touted that we're going to get something new for Livonia. And sure, it's great to get new towns and new cities and whatnot, but what if it actually turns out we are going to get an underground system somewhere south of the map? That Big would cool. be pretty dope. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And this, this little hint is a good signification for that. Um, but again, we'll ju we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see what what happens when one nineteen comes out. When do we actually think it is coming out, though? I mean, I know one eighteen's literally just been around right round the corner, but uh, I think the next uh, how many updates we have left? Two. Two. This is the major one. I think we're one. gonna. Yeah, I think we're gonna get it around Halloween. Hello, October. Oh. Me personally, I could see it. I could see Experimental coming out late July, early August. You know, the developers have really started to ramp up their production, and a lot of them have started like they've just got a very good team now, and it's working like they are working That's like a well oiled sure. machine. Oh, yeah. Everyone's collaborating, everyone's getting stuff done quickly. And I know a lot of people were saying with the last update that um, maybe they should have held on a bit longer and um, waited. But if they. In internally, they wouldn't have released the update if they didn't think they could have, you know? Well, that's they would have. Yeah. I mean, yeah. to be fair, 118 was a slightly bulked up there, but that's besides the point. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, it does. It does happen the best, but you're still going to be critical of them. Oh, yeah. Well, the reason yeah. why I'm thinking October but, yeah. is because we have two more updates left, 
And if they push out an update, let's say to experimental early August, maybe we'll get it at the end of August to stable. But that's going to be another huge time span between the updates, where October is like two months from now. Mm -hmm. I'm October. I believe. Even three months, right even when, um... it's three months away. Well, the start of October is what I mean. Yeah, I do. So, yeah, I think I think we'll get it. Um, the first experimental between end of August, start of September. Little, I think they'll have it a little bit more in the oven. Um, this we time hope. around, and <laughs> I, I hope because see, yeah. what, the reason why I'm thinking that. Okay, Fawn, thank you. Um. The reason why I'm thinking that is simply because, shut up, Rath. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'm going to address your comments, Des and uh, uh, Michael. Just give me a second, but <clears throat> I do think that if they do introduce underground sections and do everything else, they're going to need need a lot more time QA to make sure that you don't fall through the map. The geometry is going to be pretty okay. If they do any lighting changes, like you know how the mask derail Banov has, they've got to make sure. Um, that everything is going to be okay for experimental. Um, the last thing they want to do is to introduce a new location, and it turns out you phase through it. Um, so we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see what um what happens there. Um, yeah. I will check that out, lemons. Uh, when we go through the clips. My lad, because yep. that's a pretty good one. Um, yeah, that was Des, for, the, uh, for the bunkers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Des Houdini says, Surely Daisy needs to be given to modders and Daisy devs should get with modern times. Um, well, see, so the thing is with, with that is that the devs are working on an engine that is technically four years out of date at this point. It was pretty much confirmed recently that the infusion that Daisy has is um is not it's not up to date it's four years out of date like i just said um we don't expect them to do another point um six three where they tr transition everything um the more recent up to date game that uses their full tech is uh, armor reforger which by the way no one's playing um which is a shame but there you go it is what it is um daisy modders they are fantastic, but everybody has way too different ideas. If a game was given to just all the modders, it may work out well, like it did with DayZ Mod, where you had Epoch, Overpark, and whatever else. Um, but for standalone, no, I, it won't work out well. In my opinion, I could be completely talking out of my ass, but... <laughs> uh, no, it I agree with is, you, that, What, that I'm talking out of my ass, thanks. <laughs> no, I agree that you're right. Also... Daisy yeah. is at the best population and overall state is actually probably ever been in after like except for like the first year of release. Mm. We have record population numbers. We have more development team than we've ever had before. Yeah, like it's popping. It's pretty it's good. Going great. It's pretty good. And well, I know mo people want modders to have more control. Honestly, as a modder, I don't want the devs out of the way. I just want the devs to give us more control. Well, more that's, it. that's, that's it. That's it. Give us. Give us a proper animation framework, please. That would be fantastic. Um, Michael says, Hey guys, great live. Uh, great live. Uh, amazing quality. My theory is that we will have long underground passages and we'll have to ac uh, activate them somehow to get access. Uh, he also went on to say, It would be crazy to have totally dark areas under the map where we would need flashlights and stuff like that to loot. I don't know if it's already been mentioned, but remember that Scott confirmed the name of the update being the Secrets of Livonia. I did not know that last bit. Oh, Ooh, nice. Very nice, very very nice. If yeah, you can, leak, if you can cite a source for that, so we can show that off, that would be great. Thank you. Um, I, like, you know, as we're talking about the underground passages, if they do introduce a lighting system like uh, Namask has, that would be phenomenal. A vanilla way to do that, so more modders have access to it, would be game changing for map modders. That would be phenomenal. Yeah. So they don't have to rely on different kind of like sources and ways and methods to do what they need to do. Whereas they can just simply use vanilla's version. That yeah, would be that would be great. If they want to address it like a vanilla wise to make it because 
for just to give context for people in vanilla right now if you want to add an underground area lighting mm -hmm. is not currently handled correctly so no. if you were to add all this stuff and add an underground area it would still be lit like you were above ground <laughs> so that's mm -hmm. one of the biggest issues with it but one way they could address that and have it um, implemented in a vanilla way is using um, the effect areas the effect area json file that's currently yeah. within the game files because what you can do is you can use um they're, they're like effect handlers to apply certain effects to players if they're in a certain vicinity so it's not it's it can be utilized for more things than just the contaminated zones so you can use it to apply an effect to a player within a certain zone and that's not just things like um, get making gas particles appear, but it's also stuff that could um, modify their vision. Like um, one thing you can do is when a player enters into one of the CFG effect areas, or not mm -hmm. uh, not the effect area, but the the Jason area, they can have um, the glasses filters applied to them, or the night yes, vision filter applied to them, nice. or even other stuff like the helmets and stuff. So if they were to make something like that to um, kind of like make an opposite effect for the night vision you know so instead of bringing your bringing your light up making it even harder to see i think if they did something like that a it would be easy to accomplish because they would just have to make the um the handler for it and b anyone could do it and specify locations where they want it to be all because um the effect area jason is very easy to use and you can specify how high you want it to be how low you want it to be the actual range of it so it could be something that would be very beneficial. And I think that if they were to do it, that would be one of the easiest ways to um easiest ways mm -hmm. to tackle it. I think I yeah. think I think the mosque may use that method. I'm not too sure. I do know that when we work worked on Extra Care, um it was when we started it, it was before the um the effects of like the sunglasses and everything like that was introduced. And then after it was a pain in the ass to get everything to the new system, but we eventually got there, I believe. So, I think that could be possible. I think they could explore that. I think that'll be really, really cool if we do end up seeing that. But again, we'll just have to see. It can be one of those things yeah. on the wish list. But if it doesn't come in, then it is what mm -hmm. it is. I think they just added those uh, graffiti to troll all of us. You know what, mate, Rag? You're probably not wrong. <laughs> Last year, all of us were like psyched for everything. It was just crazy, but yes, it would be. Uh, it would probably be that. Um, yeah. <clears throat> a huge amount of good models have already left DZ to the community. I do have to agree with you, actually. Yeah, no, I completely agree with you. And it's it's a bit of a vicious in toxic cycle. It's like modders want to create content, um, and then you know servers use that content, but then players. They, they don't really give a shit about the content unless it's working. It's very, it, well, I wouldn't say it's very rare, but it's it's quite rare that um, modders can get like a compliment or appreciation or even positive feedback. Um, it's always fit, like the, the token phrase, fix your mod or something like that. It's always negative. Yeah, or, or something like that, you know, stuff that can be easily fixed by the client. So it's and then like, there's the issue with the... Uh not only players but server owners who just keep repacking well, people's it. mods without their permission and they well, don't care it, yeah. because there's not really a way to stop it. well that's it it's it's it is a shame it is a shame but um you know that but with every community there's always modders coming and going and there's always going to be people who are fantastic and believe in the community to do other things and you know what props to them good on you um but there's always going to be new people who have new ideas and new talents to come in and showcase the work and you know what again props to them come on in please don't leave <laughs> um des uh, additional to their um post before my point is that daisy devs need to drop all tech now let the modders play with all that so many games either out there or almost there will whitewash them don't you think um there is a demand in the community that the daisy devs drop the current tech and move to full infusion but the problem is is how meshed in that all the old tech is um it's i guess it would be somewhat difficult so i'll try to explain so anybody who's popping in they can also have an idea of why it may be difficult because it's not as simple as just 
transferring files over there's different methods that you've got to go through in different coding languages that you have to kind of i mean infusion is used in both but there's still new methods and whatnot in the, the new mm -hmm. version um so the texturing side the weapons side and everything like that is used on the old rv's engine um whereas quite a bit of the coding base and everything behind that is infusion um there are methods to port um infusion stuff back into daisy they've they've experimented that um with um <laughs> i know mckay exactly um they've experimented that with the m16 with the famas the m79 um, you can kind of tell because Infusion will use multiple materials. Uh, DayZ will typically just use one for the entire thing, but the newer stuff has been using two. I know when I first started modding that was unoptimized, but now obviously is the case it's not. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good way to do things. Um, but to port RV stuff into Infusion, since they use a different method for their... Uh, for the reflection specularity and everything like that using pbr days he's not a pbr this one thing that could be a bit of a issue um then there would be remaking certain assets altogether um buildings which take time and um, that have to remake the old weapons because obviously the, at this point some of the weapons are from like 2013 and before um i mean how daisy uses armor one assets <laughs> so there's a prime example you don't see armor reforger using that but if they do correct me if i'm wrong um, it is an arduous process to do and to dedicate an entire team to stop updating a game to do that would be would be shooting yourself in the face it would just be suicide um, yeah best not to do that considering uh, right now Daisy's the main BI game uh, sure this, you could argue Armor 3 but the Daisy play base has been consistent and it's the vision that bi has we've obviously showcased some of consoles and whatever else but i can understand that there is a want and there is a desire to move to new tech i i kind of hope they do when it's ready maybe they're working on it maybe they're not i don't know none of us know um but it would be interesting to see it would really really be interesting to see um daisy is kind of like one of those unique games it's in a unique position um where even though it is using old tech from pff, Armor 2 days, it's still viable today. Which is weird to say. <laughs> it's still viable. It's not efficient, like Unreal or Unity or whatever, but it's still... You can play it. You can still play it, and it still looks pretty okay. But yeah, it is, it is well, what Daisy it is. is yeah. the, Daisy's the middle child, right? One of the good examples I have is look at Armor 3, yeah. and then look at Reforger. Arma 3 is the old RV system fully, and Reforger is the full infusion system. Daisy yeah. is the middle child in between it. Now, if you have played Reforger, you'll know Reforger is kind of a mess. It's really beautiful. It's gorgeous stuff. But a lot of the mechanics and systems in there from RV, um, uh, Arma 3, aren't there at all. Mm -hmm. And that's why Daisy and Infusion are meshed like that. If you, like I was saying, to refuse, not only would you have to redo the models and all the textures, like I had said, but you also have to redo the world lighting because the world lighting works off the SMDIs. You'd have to then rework the entire way it renders the lighting on the models and everything else. Like Lad said, it'd be just a major, major undertaking. It, it would be, absolutely. But, you know, stranger things have happened. So, yeah. you know, we'll, we'll I see. I think, honestly, we'll see. The best thing we can hope for is like they're going to give us the new vehicle physics, possibly. I'm hoping they're going to, over time, introduce new mechanics from the Infusion Engine into our DayZ. And eventually, one day, we will be less RV and mostly Infusion. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, I for mean, sure. Yeah, absolutely. We'll have to see. I've, I've already theorized one of the methods that they could do is upgrade and DX, uh, DayZ from DX11 and DX12, since Infusion uses quite a lot of that as their base, like, you know, their Got base it, man. kind of thing. It's got to happen. <laughs> but to do that would would cut off a significant portion of their console player base. So... Oh, who needs them anyway? Yeah, that the console <laughs> guy says, who needs console? Yeah. Okay. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Are you though? But we've had this talk before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've had this talk before, yeah. and it's something that... It could, it could honestly be like... 
an entire episode, you know, but really good, for yeah. sure, for sure, there needs to be a talk about and there need, they need to sit down and kind of weigh the odds. But I think that if they can, if they can backport stuff like vehicle physics, a lot of other crucial things that were added in introduced into infusion in the recent years, <laughs> not even just recently, but they're, I mean, crap, infusion's been in development since 2014, you know, so yeah, exactly. there's a lot of things. That because we split from Infusion about four or five years ago, yeah. So a lot of that stuff that we missed, if they can backport vehicle physics, they could probably start introducing a lot of those things. But as you said, we would have to wait until they do stuff like the Direct X, because yeah, without that, we miss a lot of the crucial things. But just think, man, if they brought us to Direct X twelve, we could finally have our pipe dream of volumetric clouds. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I'm surprised people still actually you know what I'm not surprised people still going on about that <laughs> yeah we got to a petition for it man <laughs> <laughs> well, just like just like getting Scotty in the game which oh, I, was, I, I, I saw that bit of the VOD that was funny um, yeah. <clears throat> Des says I agree to an extent Daisy is moving into the realm of Playstation 3 versus Playstation 5 there's a reason why my PS3 is in a box in the loft. Don't port anything. Start again. Make Daisy great again. It would, it would be interesting if they started again. However, they've already practically done that before, and About it four took, years ago. yeah, and it took, what? A big chunk out of the community. It took. Two <laughs> That's years. what it took. Well, it's still technically recovering from it. I guess you could say, you know, it was yeah. still have not got feature parity from point six two. I'm sure we've got new stuff, but it's still like, you know, the old weapons, there's still not all of them has been they're trying. introduced. They're trying. They're yeah, trying. They're trying. I mean, if if they do decide to remake it um, in, in Fusion, I would still play it as long as it functions yeah. the same um, and it still has the same feel. Because that, that's but Infusion kind of needs to be ready for Daisy, you know? <laughs> Which, by the way, it's yeah. not. It is not by no, a long shot. No, I will, no, I will no, say no. this now. All you have to do is just look at the player numbers for Armory Forger. Infusion is not ready for a full-fledged game. It is just not. No. Give it another no, couple no, of years. No. <laughs> maybe another couple of, like, maybe two, three, an extent, four years. Maybe we'll see something. Daisy's got its, um, support for another year or two at the very least, so we'll just have to see what happens. But I do overall, I do agree with you. It would be great to see Daisy continue to move forward into the like more modern tech. But we'll just have to see. Or even what's... just, even just a, a better RV infusion hybrid. You know, rather than mm. completely phasing out RV, because RV, don't get me wrong, is a very good, very versatile engine, and it's. The big key point about it is it's something that's been perfected over years and years. Something that Infusion doesn't currently have. Mm -hmm. Infusion doesn't have the years or the time that um, RV has. And it's just, there's nothing we can do about that until we wait all the time that we had with RV. <laughs> so I think rather than just moving Daisy to Infusion, where, where, which a lot of people want, mm -hmm. I think it would be a much more feasible idea to just make a better hybrid and utilize the stuff, utilize the years yes. of tech that they have that they've built up through RV and make just a better thing because they've learned through Daisy. They've they made their mistakes. They learned the errors. The when they moved from um from point six two, you know, when they made the standalone, they know everything that happened. They yes. know the mistakes they made. And if they were to build off of it now, I think it would be a lot better because there's so many things. And even like what Dumpgrow was saying, there's so many things in Infusion. And there's so many things in Reforger that just aren't present uh, from RV. So if they were yeah. just to utilize that and just make the most out of it, I think they could do something amazing with it. You know, I think people are in the wrong mindset of thinking that we should just move everything to Infusion because mm -hmm. there's a, a lot with RV that can still be utilized and a lot of good stuff that can be utilized. Oh, you know, it's absolutely. even even yeah. even making comparison to a game like Team Fortress Two. That's running off of Source, which is an engine that's from like 2000. In... Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's old, and it's they've on. been able to work with it, and they've started incorporating stuff from Source 2. They've been backporting stuff into it, and slowly but surely, it's been 
kind of rolling again. And it's been around for so long. It's been around since like 2009 and that still has a very steady and very consistent population, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I could totally see the same thing for Daisy as well. By the I, way, this is my last thing I'll say on. Sorry. Okay. No, no, go on. You first. This is my last thing I'll say on it. If you look at Daisy's numbers population wise, and the fact that it's over 10 years to 11 years old with a, a game re um, rework, engine rework four years ago, we still are pulling great numbers. If you look at the last Call of Duty game compared to the newest one, the last Call of Duty game, game isn't doing anything. So the getting rid of old tech and bringing in new tech, while it does work for some things, it isn't always the most optimal idea. Mm -hmm. Hashtag CFTF2. That's all I'll say on that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but I, I, do, I do agree that um, with the alignments, make the best of what we've got because yeah. uh, engine they've had 11 years one. to lick their wounds <laughs> <laughs> another engine change at this point it would not it would just not be viable um the, the, no. the development would have to halt a portion of the infusion team would have to be pulled away from that into daisy because obviously the daisy devs they uh they what they work with the engine they they have you know they they've got familiarity with rv and you know old infusion whereas you know it's a bit of a model of book we can all we'll always speculate. We can always see what happens if they do decide to do that. It'll be interesting. It, but <laughs> yeah, we do know who's better. N none of them. I don't know football. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yes. Yeah, so but we'll, we'll just have to see in regards to that. But to one nineteen, I we are we are obviously probably going to get the new um Livonia uh, edits. That'd be great. Um, obviously we're going to be seeing some, uh, weapons, um, but we'll just have to see. Um, yeah. So weapon speculations, guys, before we get going, like just a quick thing. What do you guys think? What do you guys feel? 119 weapon speculations. What's going to happen? Wrath. Wrath. Don't say anything. If you're still here, do not <laughs> say a thing. I swear to God, I'm sick and tired of this joke. I cannot be bothered. Also, hope the Redman gets introduced. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. um, yes. I, I'd be more excited for some more primal weapons. Like, we kind of got some things about the bows and crossbows, like Vlad was talking about last time. Mm -hmm. I would be excited to see those. I'd be, I, I would be excited to see them give us more civilian weaponry, like they said they were going to focus on this year, because they just <laughs> yeah. gave us a bunch of, you would say, military spec weapons and explosives. So, it would be cool to get some more civilian stuff just saying even the bison you know <laughs> like that <laughs> was that was a weird one that was a yeah but yeah, what about you lad what, what are you thinking um i think we are going to be getting bows unironically like you know you know you guys know yeah. me i'm not really a too <laughs> we've been joking about, about. Bows, but i i do <laughs> yeah. genuinely think that we are going to be getting bows uh the crossbow yeah. you know that it's got the red dot sights custom made for the crossbow optic uh, and it works for it. it works perfectly you know there's no glitches when you use it which is great um i do do think we're going to get them i do think that we're going to get the um the pistol grip pump action shotgun um I, I will be very surprised if they introduce a completely brand new weapon we'll see but i am going to love it if it turns out that the iconic Yellow King weapon, because obviously it's got the iconic helmet, it's got the iconic like you know the the outfit with the grey tactical, the 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 black uh, you know vest kind of thing, jeans and whatever. It, I, it's yeah, I, I do. It's going to be so cool if it turns out that the iconic weapon is the Red Nine. I will shit. <laughs> I you will. know, it'd be cool though. But we'll see. Imagine that if instead of the nine, it's into the um like the uh, handle of it. Imagine if the it was the Yellow King's logo, etched into the uh, grip of the gun. Oh, that would be that would Very be nice. dope. I yeah. do I but... do know that nothing new has changed for the Red Nine, as far as I'm aware. Mm -hmm. um, but I do mm -hmm. think as well we are going to get stripper clips. I do think that there has been. Changed oh yeah, the like the moon clips, clips and the stripper clips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be nice. Which yeah, I was talking to Dumpgrab about this too you know, a while back. I was in the editor playing around with it, and they were working. To some degree, they like you could. I'm not sure how long ago this started happening, 
but you can still totally load them into a gun. They just don't have animations, and it just loads yeah. a single round into the gun. Yeah. So yeah, it just does the normal. Um, it just does yeah. the normal round animation, which is so annoying. I'm expecting one day to see like them do the like the full thing, take it out, like but without anything moving, I'd, like they're done with the Derringer. Um, but we'll see. Dead? No. <laughs> oh my god! Um, you know what they're gonna do? Which hmm. clips? They're gonna put it inside of their like, you know, patch note official video, and they're not gonna put it in the patch notes. It's just gonna be in the video for someone to see. Oh yeah, that's it. Just that, that's <laughs> purely just just, just so they know, you know. If you know, you know. But yes, <laughs> I think in um, my opinion, the guns that I think are gonna come in. Like you guys are saying, I do agree. I want to see the bow and the crossbow, and there's a lot of uh, evidence providing that that could be happening. But what I think might be coming is the PM73 rack. Oh, sh- I completely oh. forgot about that. I forgot about that. Oh, damn. It's it's an awesome gun, and it's um it's really cool. I really I'm a big fan of it. It's been in the game for a long, long time. Yeah. Absolutely, uh, yeah. I, co- I completely forgot. Here, about I can that. I can send a um I can send an image over to you of it so you can show people what yeah, the crap's yeah, talking I'm it. talking about because it's it, it hasn't been around in a while. <laughs> yeah, I would love I would love to see that one return. And I actually don't think they even had it in point six two. I think they removed it before then. Hmm. No, that it was in point six two. Yeah. Oh, it was my bad. The trumpet. Sorry, it's dude. such a it's such a memed upon gun, but I'd love to see the trumpet added in. <laughs> I thought the trumpet wasn't. No, nope. it's not. That's the um no. the, 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 the BK eighteen. No, the um it's the Sporter. Thank you. Couldn't think of the fucking Oh one. yeah. But um No no but, we have we have the trumpet, unless it's a modded weapon. It's it's no, a modded we, weapon, we, yeah. We definitely it's, it don't used to be in the game, here. but it was removed after um, 0.62. <laughs> yeah. But it would uh, be cool to see because of its functionality. Because for those who remember, that was one of the only guns where you could actually compress it and fold it and make it a smaller inventory size. And I think that'd be really cool to yes. have a gun like that because of its unique functionality. I know it, it was a pretty shit gun when they added it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It was pretty bad. But... um. It had cool functionality, and even with the recent guns that have been coming back, they've been doing some buffs for them. Like even for the, yeah. um, even for the Derringer, how it went from the forty-five to the. You know, yeah, I I I will say. I will say I've been I've actually been using the Derringer recently, just as like infected killer. It's not bad actually. It's really fun to use. Really, really. Oh, fun the to sound use. on it though. The it's sound on it is amazing. I, I was I was expecting an, quite a bit less, but I was I was satisfied. I also just before we continue on, I want to say something that as Monday has said because I just you know need to say it. Let's not forget about the money income created by Daisy for BI's successful product. By the way, shout out to Michael uh, Henrique. I think that's how you pronounce your name. If not, I do apologize for being a great source of Daisy information for South America. Props to you, my dude. Thank you very much for popping in the chat. The both of you. Um, always love people in the community who contribute um, to different areas so props to you keep up the good work much love to you uh, Cabello hello uh, DOJ <laughs> get destroyed <laughs> enjoy your 144p um, uh, and yes so this is also the um, the crossbow in case um, you guys don't know about it which if you don't you are genuinely an idiot um you're not but okay can you stop sending me stuff <laughs> i'm having trouble trying to get this on here uh right okay uh making you suffer stop. <laughs> stop. um <laughs> oh, right. bless you devs bless you devs um oh my god but so, um but yeah i do i do think it's going to be really really cool uh, to get some of the old weapons back, it's going to be really, really nice. It would be interesting if they do decide to um, to bring back the rest of the um, the uh, you know the weapons. Um, I I do know that the UZ has been in the files for quite some time. Um, the uh, PKM, the M two four nine, that would be really great. Uh, but I don't expect like a massive um, weapon update. I think obviously with it being the Secrets of Livonia. 
it's going to be Livonia focused. We're going to be getting oh, a lot sure. of stuff. We're going to be getting a lot of stuff there. Um, but, but to end this off, one great thing I heard from somebody, I'm not sure what stream it was in, but in regards to like the M249, the PMK and all that, some guy, I forget which stream it was, but the person said that we moved away from the mod of Arma 2 and we should not boomerang back to it in regards to weaponry and stuff like that. I can't comment on that because I never played mod. So I don't know mm. exactly what they mean. Um... But I think, personally, I think it's a good idea to add those kind of weapons, in like heli crash, only, or something like that, is a ultimate group weapon. You know, kind of, you know, if you group up and you know you build your base, you get a PKM or an M two four nine. That would be the best, best base defense gun. Just imagine turning up, and like, like kitted to the teeth. Of an M two four nine, <laughs> you wouldn't be able to control the, the control the thing, but it'd still be funny. But I don't know. I don't know. Um, what do we need? Is a Sen sixty by five four gun. Uh, what what we really need is a Sen sixty by four four five uh, five four gun. Ah, right. Okay, sorry, I misread. Um, <laughs> there's only two guns that use it. PKM could be a good addition. Uh, there's plenty of guns. Quite a few that use five five six. Uh, quite used that. Use nine mil the the um, forty five. What two guns? No. Is it two guns that use forty five? F and X UMP. Can't think of anything else. You got the revolvers and you got the repeater. Then you got the derringer. Yeah, I think I think I think it'll be really interesting if we do get a weapon that uses that caliber. I know people's been wanting three three eight, but how about a spud gun? You know what? Yes, nine nineteen eleven. Thank you. I completely forgot about that. Um, but uh, yeah, a spud gun. I think we should use the M seventy nine animations, and you should get an instant knockout shot with a potato. Absolutely. In fact, I'm surprised no one's oh, done that yet. <laughs> um. I am excited for 119. 118 was a pretty interesting update. I'll just leave it at that. Um, they have come out recently with a patch note um, that has fixed quite a few of the, the, the glaring issues that we've been currently facing, not the long withstanding ones that um, the console guys have been going on about. Actually, have you played since the latest experimental hit stable, Lemons? Yes, and I can say for sure that it's so much better i can actually like oh. do stuff and not have to throw my head through a wall trying to do it and <laughs> the nice. vehicles actually are responsive in the in like with their inventories and stuff so you, there's no having to jangle around with them or finesse them to actually let you go into their inventory it's just you open it and you're good to go all the containers are working some of the clothing containers that were actually bugged prior to 1.18 so within 1.16 1.17 were also fixed oh, within nice. this update okay. or the sorry this patch but a lot of stuff has been kind of worked upon, and it was pretty much the same as what we saw on PC as well. But I know a lot of people are definitely going to be very happy about that, and I mean, I for one mm. am. So. <laughs> yeah, I was just yeah. wondering because I'm still seeing comments about from people saying fix the inventory and whatnot. So I'm just. Thinking, I think. Oh, right. Okay. I think they're just referring to the original issues that were present right. when uh, one point seventeen released, but right, that makes sense. Yeah, I that's can kind say of... for sure that they fixed the issues that were present when one point eighteen released. Yeah, that's good. I hope I hope that they do address um, the concerns from the console folks. That would be really really nice. Yeah. Um, some inventory stuff is still not hundred percent working even after the patch now. That's, that sucks. If if you can provide us like a list. That'd be great. I haven't had personally had time to go through. Um, today I've been I've been at work all day and I'm so tired. Singularity Canon yeah. Cabello, mate. You know what? If the devs said we want to add this to Livonia, I would just tell them, <laughs> well, we could do that, but we're not going to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. no, for sure. But one thing Make we've been wrong. talking about a lot about these these new updates and these new things coming. But one thing that we have on the agenda and one thing that people have been talking about recently yes. is bringing back something pretty old, you know, something that was within the game originally that they decided to change, and that was client-side vehicles. 
Yes, I, I, I saw a Reddit post about that. Um, and I do know that in the expansion team, they did attempt to make vehicles client-side. Um, now, there are some benefits to that, but in fact, I do have the post. It was made by Arch3... 3 uh, 3 I Sorry if I completely butched that. I do apologize. So, for our Spotify listeners, when, you know, when this episode does eventually go on Spotify, I'm just going to narrate the full thing. There is a lot to read through, but just stick with me. Same as anybody else who's just listening in on YouTube. <clears throat> Should Bohemia make vehicles client side again? Hitting on this old discussion again, but since Daisy population increased and most Reddit threads are already locked, I think it's an important discussion to have and something newer players are probably not even aware. Basically, at the moment, vehicles, cars and trucks and Daisy are purely server-side driven. What this means is that when you, driving a car, makes a command, turning the wheel, using the throttle brake, etc., that info must be sent all the way to the server. The server then acknowledges and performs the action you commanded and must send you back the information on the position of the vehicle. In short, the server must constantly send you the position of the vehicle, so any packet loss, spike, lag, therefore, will cause you to completely lose control of the vehicle and be, able, and be unable to correct its course or send any information to the server, resulting in the typical cars floating or sliding with no control or flying across the map and whacking you in the face, which is so <laughs> hilarious. That video is brilliant. This was changed um, before 1.0, I believe. Before then, vehicles were client-sided, so in very basic terms, instead of the server telling you where the vehicle is, you'd tell the server where the vehicle is, making any control movements instantaneous and allowing you to avoid a crash if you like Spike. It worked exactly like GTA 5 or any other racing game does, instantaneous response from the vehicle when you move the stick slash press a key. Client side though allows hackers to more easily fake the vehicle position, making the car fly for example, and may cause desync between the driver and passengers. If the driver has a like spike, the car will seemingly go out of control, floor to fly for the passengers, but will soon be corrected back to the position the driver sees, assuming the connection between the driver and server is re-established. As a note, this change only happened to avoid uh, to stop hackers as far as I as far as I know. There was no performance difference between seven side and client side vehicles. My take, uh, as in the posters, making the vehicles extremely difficult and unintuitive to drive, besides making any like spikes in the already unstable Bohemia servers, is serious risk for crushing your car, does not make up for a random hacker being able to drive a car. This felt more like a publicity move, since flying controllable cars were given a bad image to Daisy on YouTube, while input delay and a horrible to drive vehicle are not as visible. TLDR, cars and Daisy used to be client side, cars and Daisy are now server side, server side cars have an input delay equal to your ping, any lag spike may cause a crash, client side makes it easy for a hacker to fly with a car allows players to drive safely, no input delay makes crashes due to lag spikes avoidable, fixes most of the problems we have with cars right now. Pick and choose and then they offer a choice for make vehicles client side again, keep vehicles server side. I have no idea what this is all about, <laughs> which to be fair is a good choice. Um, now what was funny about yeah. that, just to uh, chime in there, about a, a, a majority of people like the... <laughs> Majority of the vote, 141 people said they had no idea about what this was about. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's great. That, yeah. That's great. I'm as yeah. this because I know quite a bit about the vehicles and the problems they cause. Mm -hmm. Unless we remove inventory from vehicles, it will remain server side. It's too easy to dupe. I've never heard of any methods duping with a car. Well, I certainly can there, Reg. No problem at all there, my guy. No worries. But, so, I'm not going to go into the various ways of duping in the past. And <laughs> Obviously, present, no. But there are ways to trick the game by essentially popping in and out of existence so quick after you did something to be able to duplicate what you have. Vehicles could be the same exact way. 
Because when you get into a vehicle, you become the vehicle. You don't become a person in the vehicle. You become the vehicle as far as I know, which is why you um, end up sending information back and forth. And then when you exit the car, it literally puts you outside the vehicle and then says, this is a player now again. So if this uh, vehicle is meant to be client-side purely, the inventory and everything else would be attached to the client. And we all know what people can do with only client-side information being sent hmm. to a server. Right, okay. Lemons, have That's you very true, but to counter that, and this is something that someone said in the Reddit, mm -hmm. this just shows that um, Daisy should have a better anti-cheat and something better to actually catch this stuff, because if they had appropriate yes. things... We wouldn't even have to worry about these issues, you know. If they were to see if they were able, able to catch these injectors or catch things, because one thing that we can all agree upon is the current anti-cheat that Daisy uses is very crappy, and it's something yeah. that can be easily exploited for, within certain yeah. within certain things within certain areas. Yeah. My rebuttal is: it's easier to fix something through mechanics than it is through a anti-cheat through third-party host. But you gotta use... still have a solid anti cheat regardless. You got to. I I know, and I'm not <laughs> disputing that. But what you're saying is a server should have better admins on all the time rather than fix uh, making in game mechanics that prevent the cheat from happening in the first place. Right? Like that's what you're saying. Oh no, not not in game admins. I'm just saying they should have like no, no, a better no, no, actual. No, I'm using yeah. it as a reference, right? You're saying the game cheat engine should, uh, which we know sucks, by the way. Um, should be improved upon by the third party, which I totally agree. But DayZ is going, we don't have control over these people, so we're literally making it the way we think to fix the issue. So this is DayZ's way of trying to solve a problem where the game, um, the anti-cheat is failing. That's true. Yeah. But, like I, like I said, if the anti-cheat wasn't an issue, you know, we wouldn't have these problems, but as you were bring, as you brought up, it's just actually fixing the anti-cheat, which is a big thing. But yeah. if they were to fix that, that could solve a lot of the problems we would see with that. And unfortunately, that's just the thing with a lot of stuff. Hackers just kind of ruin the experience for people, and it makes it so that they have to do stuff like this, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, if you look yeah. even, like, games like Warzone or Fortnite, they have hackers, and they spend tons of money on anti-cheat. Like, mm -hmm. big time. And they still have to find new ways of doing this, so... It sucks, but it's unfortunately one of those things we have to fight with. And I think yeah. keeping it as a surface side mechanic guarantees they have some control over it. Mm -hmm. Well, see, that's the thing. You know, McKee brings up a, a, a great point. Daisy does have control of the anti cheat. They pay them to do the job they aren't doing correctly, which is actually fair. It is a fair battle. It has been proven that it is not a very good anti cheat. There has been suggestions that we on, on the podcast, more specifically Archie, um, has made where if you wish to report a hacker there should be something on like the pause menu that would be more accessible for players but yeah. I do I do genuinely think BI still needs to drop a battle eye and go over a much better one but unfortunately I don't know which one is better otherwise I'd be like Oi, BI listen to me for a sec please that would be great <laughs> but I don't know any others unfortunately I have to do my research to to look into it a bit more to see about more on the on the anti-cheat situation um but do you guys know anything more about because i know we've spoken about it on the podcast a bit more dump you know you're well versed on that lemons i'm not too sure on how well versed you are in like the anti-cheat systems or anything like that yeah well the big thing is a lot of like battle is kind of the in-house in thing that everyone pretty much uses you know because the issue is there's not a lot of decent or big kind of anti-cheats that are on the market right now that could kind of stand up to what BattleEye quote-unquote offers. You know, I don't want to knock mm -hmm. BattleEye or anything, but no, no. what I've noticed is BattleEye is for game developers or indie companies that just don't have the budget to make their own um, anti-cheat because a lot of the big companies just do their own stuff. They yeah. make their own in-house anti-cheat. They run their own stuff, you know? And they just aren't bothered to deal with that, you know? So it's kind of one of those things where they're forced to do it if they don't have the funds or resources to do it, you know? But I know yeah. there's other alternatives out there, but it's just, it, that's a big um, that's a big thing for well, sure. It, yeah, absolutely. I know that they use the, uh, they use the 
um, what was it? What's the search hate engine? Gamefly or GameSpy? Game, yeah. Game, the, the old GameSpy says, "Holy shit!" That <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> no, but uh, this problem exists on Arma Three as well. Like, yeah. So it's something they're aware of on both games, and the question here is, if it was as easy as them just finding another anti cheat host, why haven't why they haven't done they done it? Yeah, exactly. Arma 3 has been out for just almost as long as DayZ, if not a little bit longer, and they still are rampant with these problems. So my my, my w- w- wonder is, if it was so easy to do what we're saying, why have they done it? And if they haven't done it, maybe it was because they were under contract, but the contract easily ha- probably has come up multiple times by now. Yeah. So what else is stopping them? What else is making them go, hey, why don't we just make this pure in-house? What if the cost of making it in-house is just too great? Especially for all tech, because then they would have yeah. to create a brand new anti cheat for Daisy, and then repurpose it for their future titles, which can we we all know can be a bit of a pain. Especially trying even just trying to backport vehicle physics and whatnot from Infusion to Daisy's took the better part of what like what f- five months so far, at the very least four or five months. But yeah, I I do think that. There the will be reasons why the BI hasn't done it yet, but my question is why haven't it. um because because Daisy is sold and and they are through Steam, why haven't they tried to incorporate VAC into their game? Because VAC's terrible. It's god awful. Well, VAC does exist in Daisy. The only thing is exactly. though, <laughs> it's still god awful. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, VAC is in day z because even if you um there are things that you can do as a server owner to enforce the vac bans on the yeah, thing on C2, if daisy didn't use vac at all vac bans wouldn't matter that's true but i feel there's stuff on the, the um like the end developer side that they can do too because i've seen a lot of stuff where games may have an anti-cheat but they do stuff that they can beef it up and they can kind of shoulder pad the anti cheat, you know, on on the end developer side as well. So I know that shouldn't that you the the developers shouldn't have to handhold the people who make these anti cheats. But if it's something that has to be done, it's it's something that has to be done at the end of the day, you yeah. know. Because if you need to protect your game, you're gonna do anything by any means to make sure that's safe. Because a lot of bad things can happen, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and and and, and go on. No, go on, Matt, go on. I was going to say, then there's also the fact that Daisy went an entire engine overall four years ago. The anti-cheat people would have to adapt to it pretty darn quickly. And that might be also one of the reasons why some of these so-called hacker accusations and stuff has become more rampant in the past couple of years is because they switched from the RV engine to the Infusion engine. Because they still have to know everything about the engine to stop all of the net links and all of the... Um, RPC call problems and all that kind of stuff. So, some of the stuff could could have been because of the engine change as well. Yeah, there there could be so many reasons. That, that that's that's the thing. It's like we can we can discuss it. We can speculate. We can only speculate. It, you know. And yeah. It, yeah. And it's but... it's all very interesting ideas and all very interesting takes. Um, it would be interesting if Bi ever said something publicly about it you know maybe if we got enough attention they'd be like okay this is why we're using it leave us alone please yeah yeah oh yeah <laughs> just imagine this though what if uh bohemia was able to get into talks with um a company like epic games because epic games has a very very good anti-cheat they their easy their easy anti cheat is very very solid and a lot of games like mm-hmm. the big ones that like from Ubisoft and a lot of these big companies or even I think um I think Fortnite uses it as well these or they're these very game. big mm-hmm. oh well there you go <laughs> but these Let's very big around. companies and these very big games use this anti cheat and I've heard a lot of good things about it but it makes you think like we were saying why haven't they gone out and tried to initiate talks or try to work with these companies and ultimately it comes down to transparency because they could have very well done that but we don't know yeah that's it yeah There's obviously Who knows? any company it doesn't like they don't like how do i say this 
customers like ourselves, we do not have a right to know the ins and outs of what any company does. In, we can only see the end result, and if they announce anything publicly, that's it. We can speculate, like I said before, all we want. It would be interesting if we do get a better anti-cheat, but I think the main thing we need to focus on... Well, we? The game, the devs, whoever need to focus on, is to get a better reporting infrastructure. And going back to the original topic of cars... <laughs> And yep. <laughs> fixed cars. cars. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like, <laughs> it's a, it's a cursed subject in the days of community. I know, I know why we got away from it very quickly, but still. Um, but yeah. it's um, but we'll we'll again we'll just have to see if they ever do something like that. You know, if if, if people are more public about it, then you know maybe we'll yeah. see. Even if something in fusion like that in house in fusion, maybe if they, I'm pretty sure they still use Battle Life for that. I'm not too sure, but if not. Probably. then we'll see yeah. um but it's um but yeah so it is it is what it is i suppose it's pretty simple it is what it is yeah it is. just improve your net code yep oh. there you go <laughs> well my rebuttal to that remove your network code just make it single player only no there we go no there you go <laughs> i never have issues in offline mode never <laughs> never <laughs> Put up my I'd, own server. I never have issues, guys. <laughs> oh no, never. <laughs> Fuck. But yeah, so um, quite an interesting, quite an interesting conversation yeah. happening we, in chat. Right. That is an interesting point. How many of us have played offline mode and still got effed by cars? Not me. Only, only. I know plenty of people have shown me that. Uh, surprisingly, I never have. I never have. Oh. I just don't okay. spawn well, them in. I'll drop it. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. That's all like. <laughs> Wait, why is it going? Oh, it's missing a spark plug. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, but yeah. 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 But it does bring up the topic of exploits and player exploits. And one thing that we had on the agenda was a very interesting, very interesting exploit. And it was that uh, the one video posted on Reddit about the person getting handcuffed through a window. <laughs> Mate, that. Right. Okay. I. <laughs> I saw that on I, I, <laughs> I saw that on, on 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 the Reddit. You know, obviously I set up the agenda, but I I just could not believe it. I could not believe it at all. Now, if anybody has not seen this, I'm also going to post this in the chat as well for your for yourself. But yeah. Oh, he's out. Just uh, be clear. Me, we don't condone anyone using these cheats or exploits or anything else. We just found it. Interesting. He's red health, mate. He's, I'm yeah, he's you. not doing good. You wanna try and batter him or no? Yeah. Pickaxe is dangerous. John. We um John, we, I've got him! We, go! We, get get go! Like Got ya! It's not the pins in it, right? <laughs> I don't know. Oh really? Alright. Uh, <laughs> hello. Okay. How are you supposed to respond to that? Like, oh. imagine being that oh. player. And just yeah, looking around, there's no one there, and you just got handcuffed, like... <laughs> that would easily make people think, the hacker, there's a cheater, they're gonna get reported and that. It's like, that's... Insane. It's crazy. People in, people in the comment section, this opens a whole new realm of possibilities. Another reason why restraints should only be possible upon a surrendering victim or an unconscious one. Um, OMG, that's nice. Fresh spawns, my boys. Uh, you guys have been killing it lately. Yeah, Fresh spawns posted this clip. It is just wow. And it, not only I know this, why they can do it, but yeah, I mean, there's just nothing there in the actual model, like in terms of uh, yeah, even a basic view geometry would have fixed this issue. Yeah, and th th this okay, this also relates to something that Mass discovered accidentally during a recent event. So, hey, buddy. Um, so, in one of the buildings um, that you get in industrial, it's um, oh, what's it's it's um, I can't remember the terminology people use it like use for the specific building. Concrete it's, building. It's one of the concrete buildings, yeah. But it's got balconies with inside the building, and on the top floor leads to a ladder, goes to a small room, and then you're on the roof. The industrial like, building. Yeah, it's it's one of the industrial yeah. buildings. On the first floor, 
um, or second floor of your American. You can jump out the windows even though they, they look solid. You can jump out of them. Mass was glass house you call it, well there you go. But Mass was handcuffed and he got out of his bonds. As part of this event he was meant to be handcuffed, he was supposed to be saved from a group of people. That didn't work out well. Um, but he, he got out of his bonds and he thought it would be funny to try and just see what would happen. And he jumped through and he escaped. <laughs> and he just ran off. <laughs> and they didn't, his captors didn't even realise. They, they unlocked the door, went inside and they were like, what the fuck? <laughs> but it was, it was just crazy. It was like, oh my God. Like how, and I know in one of the recent patches, they, they done some touch-ups to some buildings so you couldn't clip through, you couldn't do whatever to get inside the building, which is great, fantastic. But you kind of need to do a little bit more. Because <laughs> that is... Just imagine getting the PvP event, like PvP fight or whatever, right? And, you, and you're, running, you're running there, you're thinking, oh, I'm, I'm going to be cornered, everyone's inside. Just jump out the window, you're fine. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's crazy. It's crazy. You don't actually realise how many buildings are have they have issues they have unintended game features it's quite crazy but the um the clip was showed off i just i was watching it and i was in tears it was just so so funny because yeah you're right it's like you're just standing there like maybe you have just been shot and you're trying to recover yourself you're going through your inventory next thing you're handcuffed and it's like where where where, where from what, what what where from what and it's like it's crazy. It's mad. It's absolutely mad. Yep. One thing that's funny too with that is if you can do it with handcuffs, you can you can definitely do it with a burlap sack. So imagine <laughs> just putting that over someone's head, and they wouldn't even they wouldn't even see it coming. They wouldn't even see it, it coming. Oh man! I just suddenly even... your screen goes black. You're like, <laughs> exactly. I didn't even I didn't even think of that. And if you have a weapon in hand, you won't even get to prompt to remove the bag. You would just be freaking out. You'll oh be blind. God. You won't even know what the hell's going on. <laughs> uh, oh, I need, to, I need to test that. I need to see if that can actually work. Because, oh my god, that is fantastic. I didn't even think that. It may not work because he's wearing headgear. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, if the, if, yeah, obviously, if they're not wearing headgear, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be all right. Well, all right, I suppose. But <laughs> yeah. Um. But, but yeah, it's it's quite it's quite funny. It's quite funny. Freedom. There, that's the next fresh pause video right there. Put yep. uh, put a burlap sack on their heads. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. It's just, oh, it's mad. It's absolutely mad. But uh, yeah, Daisy's a Polish game, guys. Love the game to bits, but you got a rib on it sometimes because it's that's just. They're funny. game enhancements. They were definitely intended to be in the game. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, totally. Yeah. The original concept was that you could just manually open the windows, but they scrapped that and just put the end result in. That's fine. You know. Yep. There you yep. Go. <laughs> but speaking you of are the window. Who posted this, <laughs> and then being people who not only make videos but streams, Daisy streamed. Oh, yes. And I was so annoyed I missed that. May I was I was at work. Uh, I think I was I was in the last end of my shift. And I saw and I saw the tweet. I get notifications on my phone. I was like, okay, I'll just I'll, I'll be a bit cheeky, I'll check it out. And uh yeah. They started streaming again. <laughs> yep. They have a cool setup, I too. I slept through it, man. I was so bummed out. Dumb crowd reached out to me. To watch it live? I pre I'm pretty sure you were, because you, you reached out to me after and you told me, yeah. and I was so sad. I was so, so sad. I'm like, what? <laughs> he does. Take yeah, care of yourself, Dad. Much love to him, my dude. Take care. It, it was a great stream. Uh, I mean, of course, you know, chat was being chat, being toxic, but there was quite a few people who were being positive with them, and they looked like they were having a heck of a time. They even PS5 application even crashed once. <laughs> yep. Yep. Now, one cool thing about their setup is, I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but all the stuff in the background is fan-submitted things that the people created for the uh, developers. And they have all oh, of that set that. up in the, on their back shelves there. That's all oh. um, fan-made stuff that was submitted to the uh, Daisy headquarters. Mm. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. 
So I'm not sure how you can send stuff anymore or if you can send stuff anymore. But yeah, that's all uh, fan stuff. And I think one, actually there was something recent that happened. Um, someone had sent in, I forget the person, but they had sent in a quilt. It was a quilt of um, an NBC zombie. Right. And oh. it, I think you can see it in the background. Because I know, I know they said they were going to put up. Yep, you can see it. It's next to the uh, revolver. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Um, but then they had a lot of other cool things. Uh, they uh, talked about some interesting stuff. Yes, you, you did not. You did send me a couple of things um, about it. Uh, hello, B. Hello, Pax. Thank you very much for coming at the stream. I really do appreciate it. Do you want to find those um, those little tidbits? And um, oh yeah, I got it. All cool. right. Crazy how far Daisy has came after those idiots ruined community. Not too sure what you mean. Could you clarify on that? That would be that'd be great. Um, so about 15 minutes into the stream, you guys can go back and look at it. They talk about the Yellow King and Hannah. Okay, you said 15 For, minutes. Like, 15, yeah, about 15 minutes is when they, so we'll they mentioned it. Alongside the community, showing off uh, to people that don't have a chance. Right, so I'm just um, getting the audio playing that. Also, I have a chance to. But it was like only for like a minute or two, period. Like they did it really quick. Hearts, actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Strawberry jam. Just what we needed. I have to say, I always like the motorbike helmets, but since it gives you the overlay, which makes sense, you know, I just. And it's only about motorbike like, helmets. I always forget to take it off when I'm trying to talk to Forcing someone that shoots yeah. me and then like. Oh, right. I like the yes. Um, yeah, that was fucked. Yeah, that was. That was. Oh, yeah. I, I haven't found it <laughs> in my own. Place. Spicy. They were very For spicy. Those of you but that yeah. Are following the little bit of. Uh, oh, yeah. He's talking about that now. Easy storyline. Um, uh, some of you may know, some of you may not know, but each uh, release trailer or release teaser kind of fits into some narrative that follows through. There are a few Easter eggs laying about in the in the teasers, uh, but there is a story that's kind of building, and I will spew it out in the one nineteen uh, update. Uh, the next the next update uh, it will be the the finale, I would say, to the Hannah and Yellow King. Uh, storyline. So there's something revealing. <laughs> and that is literally it. <laughs> yes, yep. yes. And so... But when he, st when he states there's an important thing to know, he will start giving that information out when 119 is coming or around or whatever. So yeah. that would be a great indicator about when it's coming. And that, it's it's, it's kind of like what happened with 114. There was a whole group of us in the podcast. Uh, Discord that we were like psychoanalyzing. I th we went through all the trailers and w w we were kind of right. We were on the right track, but not quite there. So maybe this year, maybe this year we'll get it before it comes out. We'll see. But uh, it's so fast, man. I'm 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 so surprised that the that the finale is already around uh, around the corner. You know, like I'm kind of I'm kind of bummed out to know that this is gonna be like the big climax of it because I was yeah. kind of enjoying all this stuff. You know, when this all first started. Um, a while back you know it was just so fun following the narrative because it was all just it wasn't like the big view of the game like it wasn't the, like the the main thing they were doing but for people who wanted that extra extra sort of story or that extra little tidbit of lore you know it was such an awesome thing yeah for sure yeah very much and then at 35 minutes they talked about the vehicle physics uh around 35 minutes again this was a very quick and a very uh oh moment they that they realized after they started talking about it. So thirty five minutes. This goes to around yep. that. Speech video showcase. In that same path. <laughs> it has to happen when I'm like live. <laughs> Not good. So anyway, so the conquest servers. This has been changed recently. It's now changed to a co uh, co uh, coastal conquest. So you'll have checkpoints. So he's talking about the console the way, conquest the servers, one, which kind of the bragging rights of the server. I mean, I don't play console, but uh, lemons, you can attest they're pretty yeah, decent, aren't they? Bragging rights is enough to say that blue team um, is the best and red team <laughs> is actually the worst, but they are. They it are depends. Really bad. It's, it's <laughs> okay. decent. It, I mean, before you could not say that, but now they've they've worked a lot better. Both Daisy okay, so, and Nitrato uh, have been doing a lot, and I can say for sure that servers aren't as crap as they were before, because I can finally take all the wheels off of a car and put them back on without it sending 
both myself and the vehicle to space. Oh so God. I can I can definitely say that's a very uh, very good thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm just <laughs> checking the questions that we can really answer. For example, the one about the console server and dedicated server box. I wish I had really more precise times on these. It's all right. Any for that, but uh, yeah, there are things that we discussed. You said it was at the uh, thirty-minute uh, mark. We discussed with the team, but thirty-five, thirty-six uh, minutes. We need to minute mark. check, you know, so it's better. Okay. Yeah, we don't have like such a high level of uh, understanding of say. It's uh, thirty-four fifty-five when they start talking about it. Or driving. Thirty-four fifty-five. Yeah. A little, little um, before, maybe like 3449. Because if everything worked properly, Scotty would never. But that's when they start kind of talking about the yeah, vehicle and that's stuff. Exactly, why this is experimental stream because, uh, as Minder mentioned, the PvP skills like they're improved are the incredible skills. I didn't yeah. say anything about. But here you can see clearly that the, yeah, so 3449 you know, is where you're gonna want to start. That's when they like literally just start talking about properly, it. Properly, Scotty would never go straight into the barbed wire. Okay. Definitely. And how many times yeah. I've taken that same path? <laughs> it has to happen when I'm like live. <laughs> Not good. So anyway, so the conquest servers. This has been changed recently. It's now changed to a con. Uh, this uh, just con started. <laughs> you know, and that's exactly why this is experimental stream because branch and right. these guys are living in fifteen. No, they're, they're not talking about it. Though. They're just talking about uh, something else. They did. They did say one thing though. They were saying that uh, that uh, if vehicle physics were working properly, Scotty wouldn't be crashing into the barbed wire all the time. <laughs> yeah, they went out for like oh, actually, seconds or something. Two seconds. They they did just discuss something I was quite interested in there because they did talk about modders getting involved in the team at one point, I believe. I will prove it. When, yeah, when we do the vehicle simulations, we'll do a. They they literally 30, 36, 30 or something like that. Uh, <laughs> mentioned but vehicle simulations yeah, we don't as have well. Like such a high level of uh, understanding of say, road and stuff like this. So there's, there's a lot of stuff that we have. Or to do. driving cars, you know. <laughs> I will prove it. When when we do the vehicle simulations, we'll do a stream of racing. We'll set up a server where we can just get cars. Stream of racing. I would so do do uh, that. Electro, no, Chernow. Chernow has a nicer road structure around it. Yeah, but uh, in the future, like, if this works out, and I feel like so far it's working out, uh, if, if you like it, uh, we will invite some other members of the team, of course, like Adam. Like, he's super busy now working on, you know, the next update, which we can't talk about today much. Uh, but he's super busy with it, but as soon as he has some time in the schedule, we would like to get him on here as we well. We have, uh, DOG as well, a lot of people yeah, know the, uh, Dance of Jesus. Dance of Jesus, yeah, in the office. Florian. Uh, Florian, great guy, right now on vacation. Right now on vacation. And the office is much sadder yeah. with him gone. So we are sending him our, you know, regards if he watches this. And Wait, what was that, sorry? So we would like to get him on here as we well. We have uh, DOG as well. A lot of people know the uh, Dance of Jesus. Dance of Jesus, yeah, in the office. Florian. Uh, Florian, great guy. Right now on vacation. Right now on vacation. And the office oh, is he's on vacation. Set. Right, yeah. yeah. Him gone. Right, okay. So we are sending yeah. him uh, hey, Jake, anyway, regards. Uh, but yes, Small so... little tidbits here and there. Yeah, so there's... Little hint drops, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so... I yeah. know stuff we can take and blow out of proportion. Oh, wait, oh yeah, naturally. That's, that's, what, that's what, what a podcast do. for, you know? That's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yes, it was yeah. a really, really cool, interesting VOD. And, you know, it's a nice little, you know, history. Um, the last, uh, if we can, if if I am correct, you pointed this out, Lance. The last stream they done was with Boydie two years ago. Yep. Two years ago. So, so... it's a sign, man. It was a forty, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah. but yeah. they're going to be resuming streaming again. So you know, if you do see us in chat, obviously say hello. But be there for them. Uh, you know, they, they, oh, yeah. they need the love, and you know, it's going to be really, really nice to see. Because back in the alpha days, they used to do those kind of streams like somewhat regularly. It was nice to see Eugene, uh, Martin, Batsy all come together and Peter uh, talking about the game because you could really see the passion. And it's nice that we're getting a new breath of fresh air into the Daisy, um, into the Daisy, you know, Twitter, Twitter, Twitch. Like and just their social presence. 
Yes, yeah. exactly. The social presence yeah. is getting so much better. But one thing that's interesting too is unlike their past streams, like years years ago, they were playing like uh, this time around. They were playing on a community server. Yeah, exactly. Which is something which they, they, they nice. did not do before. They used to just play official, and that was it. But they were playing on the um, Conquest server, the stream, mm -hmm. which was really cool. And yeah. I love that they're actually doing stuff with the community, exp bringing exposure to these servers, and just working with them and helping them because this is something that I, I doubt anyone could have said they would have seen happening before that. You know exactly, exactly because they so. used to be they used to be a common misconception that they just did not care for console, um, but it kind of proved they done. Scotty, you know, if anybody does not know, Scotty mains console. Like he does PlayStation oh, yeah, 4, brother. PlayStation 5. <laughs> Shh, you. But um but yeah, so it is it's it's really nice to see that they they have given some attention to that. Hopefully um more community servers do get the spotlight from them as well, but yeah, we'll see. Definitely. Um and they also showcase their overlays. Um <laughs> Oh was, yeah. How cool was that? I really they have like official overlays. overlays, folks. Um let me put it into chat. Anything that says official on the own website is endorsed by uh, Daisy. Official transitions and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, they, they were really, really cool to see. Um, yes, I want to go to the site. Um, let me just... Oh my god, this is going to blind me again, isn't it? Yep. Oh yep. My god. Everyone get the flashbang okay, ready. Oh, God. Yeah, so they got a whole bunch of different um, different transitions, and these are really, really cool. Um, I haven't actually took a proper look at them yet, but there's actually oh, yeah. there's there's a lot more than I thought there were. <laughs> there's a lot. Uh, some um, of them are animated too. You can actually see the person like moving and stuff. So cool. Right. Okay. But yeah, so there's so much different stuff here. Oh, I like I like the transitions there. Yeah, the transitions cool. Yeah, they are actually really really nice. Look relatively simple as well. Um, for some of them. Yeah. Twitch panels, easy channel, you banners, YouTube banners offline banners, all that kind of stuff. Really, really nice. Good wallpaper. So it's nice that they've done something there for um, for the content creators. You know, especially if you want to get yourself started uh, streaming, you've got a good base there to use. And, um, you know, so there you go. It is, you know, at, le and at least give you inspiration if you do decide to make your own. But I, th I thought it was nice that they did talk about that briefly. Um, in the VOD. I was I was quite surprised because when I, I was watching the first bit and I was like, ooh, this looks nice. This looks spicy. And then when they said that it's going to be available for anyone to use, I was like, ooh, we're still not using it because we've got our own, but nice anyway. And just uh, a quick heads up, a lot of them are 50% off right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're on sale. Use them, though. Well, them cheaper, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get yeah. them while they're on sale. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, just get them on sale. <laughs> Holy sh Holy, yeah, get them on sale, definitely. But, um, but yeah, that was really, really nice. But there has been quite a few things going on in the community, and one of them I was very impressed, and one of the, like, this was kind of like somewhat of a vision I had for the Singularity Cannon, but I am not good enough to to do that. Let's see if I can get the, the tweets back up. Because I did have it. And it was something that Dab and Gorman, um developed. They remastered the Gauss rifle um, for, well, just as a mod, I guess you could say. So, and I'll also post the link in chat for everybody to go through as well. Um, I was super impressed with this. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Uh, Inclement Dab says, The Gauss Rifle is getting a much-needed overhaul, upgraded visual effects, animations, and particles, no longer mag-fed, now top-loaded chambering, magazine made no sense, new bullets and battery models. All thanks to legendary Gorman, who absolutely killed it on this one. I shall... Let me pause it. 
Let's full screen it so we can get that wonderful Twitter compression. Mm. There we go. <laughs> that looks so cool. Oh, the animation though. I am a fan of that. Pretty Apart good. from the jamming, that's so that that's not gonna be intended, but But it's this bit here. It's the fact that the, it like the vents. Or the smoke yeah, the smoke really coming cool. out the side. It is just well done, particles. So the particles are great. The animation's fantastic. And there was a second video that was posted. Looks even cooler at night. Oh yeah. Oh. That is cool. It is cool. And then a fucking lightning strike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's 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 so nice because it's like. It is, it, it is magic. It's actual modding magic. It is crazy. It is just unbelievable. Beautiful. I mean, the original Gauss, I never used it, but it's a nice, cool model. But this one, with the better animations, the sounds, it, I think it sounds the same, but overall it just looks better. Um, and the weight's getting reduced to 8 kilograms as well, which is great. But, wow, it is... So nice to see that even modders can go back the way and be like, you know what? Let's remake this. This can be a little so much better. Been there, done that. Dump, you've done there, you've done that. Lemons, I think you've even done that yourself. <laughs> Going back well, to the way. entire Zergoria once he got the static objects. Of course he did. <laughs> yeah, crazy man. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's nice to see that, you know, modders are going back as well to 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 redo their work. And yeah, it's really, really nice to see them continue development. And another thing that as well, um, that I kind of want to um, talk about once I get up the link. You know, I had the link for this, but I completely forgot to post it in the bloody thingamabob because I am so smart. It's Banov. And I know Cabello's in chat. Hello, my guy. Much love to you. Um, so Cabello did decide to um, get away from the community, but now he's back and he's been working on updates again. Um, but Daisy Banov update the Unknown World trailer. Now I shall post this in chat. Um, we'll watch. Is uh, Cabello is any music copyrighted? Um, music separate ways will depart yes journey so i'll not play the music um so I'll only play a little bit little tidbit here and there um no it's not but i mean okay well, all right well um we'll just play it um a little bit then it's very cool I've always liked the music choice in the trailers, to be honest. I don't think you're showing it on the uh, actual podcast. I, I am not. I'm an idiot. I thought it was. Yeah, sorry about that. Holy shit. I'm an idiot. Yep, yeah, sorry. I get it. I get it. Okay, I get it. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> boom a moment. Boom a moment. Boom a moment. <laughs> right, okay. Let's start this again. Fuck's sake. Okay, millennials can't do anything right. I know, right? Jesus Christ. We've got to have at least one Beam moment per stream, however. We've got to. We've got to. I've always really liked the music choice in the final chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, DOG.
Okay. Oh. Is that like a Stranger Things text? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. Okay, so you've actually got a new. Okay, all right. I love the Stranger nice. Thing, the Stranger Thing, whole thing. Um, okay, that's gonna be interesting. So, first, go on. The first portion of that, I was really getting like some hardcore Livonia vibes from it for sure. Like, um, it almost looks like a a better fleshed out version of Livonia. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, you do get that vibe a bit, to be honest. I mean, yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> see, that's the thing. I I really liked. I, I liked the trailer. I, I really I I watched a bit of it before, but I didn't catch that last bit, so that caught me off guard. So props to you. Um, I really am interested to see what changes coming to the map because I know you're always changing. Um, changing sections. If you are actually going true with like. Stranger Things, you know, with the upside down, don't know how you're gonna do that. Um, or well, even if it's like a portion, I'll be interested to see. Or if it's literally you just changing stuff to the map and then adding a new, new, uh, infected type or monster type, whatever. Either way, I am really interested to see what you've come up with this time around, and I'm interested to see how many people you shit up and scare with the demogorgon. <laughs> That's gonna be really, really cool. Um, Looking forward to it, really, really am. Um, I saw 7.19, so it's coming out the 19th of July, so I believe. So, mark your calendars, boys and girls. Get ready for the new Banov update. Um, and one map as well, which I took a quick look at and I wasn't too bothered by, but apparently it's taking the community by storm a little bit. And it's Eden. Have you guys took a look at this yet? Took a look at Eden. Yeah. Um I've got a bit of a bit of a take on it, so I mean Dumpgra, do you have anything you'd like to uh like to say before I go on that? <laughs> uh new map, woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I've got a lot of good things with the map and a lot of bad things, okay? They did a lot of cool things design-wise, and they have a bunch of nice custom assets. But then they completely watered it out by using Arma 2 assets that just did not match any of the stuff they were using. Like, they would have their new buildings right next to some very old models, and it just, I don't know. I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't a fan of that. Yeah, and I think that if they were going to do all these new buildings, they should have followed through with it and kept it cohesive throughout some of these locations. Because some of it, it just... It just looks like a mishmash of assets, to be honest with you, in certain areas. Right. But that's not to say that the assets they used were not very high quality. And I think if they, if they did design those assets, they did a very good job on them. I will say that 100%. I loved the buildings. I loved the assets they created, but it's just... Having them next to some of those other buildings, I don't know. It's just, it's it's kind of yeah, weird. I have something to say about that. In just a quick second. So I do want to state that the people who made this map put out a post officially letting people know about this, and they put out we have uh, been asked about our new map uh, for Daisy <laughs> circulating called Eden. This is our map project we started when sh um, then shelved once we started running our own game server. The game, the map overlay was then upload to a uh, public GitHub. We are not associated with the map project, but wish them the best. So I'm not sure if this is still being fully developed or if somebody took it off the GitHub and put it for people to publicly try. But if it is being developed, then obviously, of course, the Armor 2 assets probably be updated. But if it isn't, then they probably just use those as placeholders. Yeah, which makes sense. You know, from, I mean, I, I took I took a quick look and I was, I was like, yeah, it's whatever. But... To be fair, when I first saw the ban off map, I was like that, and now I've really enjoyed the map. So I'm hoping that development continues 
and the the map gets better because people saying you know it's got a tropical vibe to it. It's a bit empty, needs more time, which which is fair. Um, and we've I talked do... about um, the difficulties <laughs> with tropical map design before. And I oh, mean, yes. even um, yes, if is. DOJ's in chat, God. he was talking to us about that. And it's just it's very difficult to execute a tropical atmosphere properly. Mm -hmm. because of just the amount of assets that you have to use you know because it's so not just you have do, a few yeah. trees you have to do trees and you have to do the foliage and the vines and all that kind of so if you want to really hit it off properly you know and that's just the performance loss that you could get from that it's just very difficult yeah so yeah. i think to they did a decent job executing kind of that tropical vibe i can see where where chat was coming from where it's kind of feels underdeveloped in some areas but once again like dump was saying it is something that was made open source and ceased development. So it could just be they wanted to go further with it and they just, they didn't. Or yeah. this was the end result, but I, I highly doubt that it was the end result. And they probably had a lot more that they unfortunately had to shelve. So Yeah, and and, that, and that's that happens with map development. I, I wouldn't be surprised in the community there's been loads of maps that have been in development in secret and just will never see the light of day. Um, mm -hmm. It is a shame, but... I still don't know what I think about Eden, so all I can say is that I hope development continues. Um, it continues to impress those who are regularly playing it, and it becomes one of the staple modded maps, like Deer Isle and, and Banov. Um, yeah. And the Musk. So it brings up, it brings up a good question. It brings up a very good question for like um, abandoned projects or abandoned where... Do you think that if um, the owner of a project or an owner of a map knows that they'll be ceasing development and fully stopping it, do you think that they should um, make it open sourced and make like a public uh, GitHub repo for it for oh. people to kind of bring continue the torch? Yes and no. I think it's purely up to the team that's developing it. If they wants to let people to be like you know we we've developed this map but we can't work on it but we want people to to do what they want with it have fun whatever great some may never have that opportunity it's like it's like Abella says you know he would never do that i would never do that myself if i made a map i'll be like nope i'm this is just going to be kind of like my thing if i ever come back to it then i can but it should be completely up to the developers for that particular project what they want to do. Um, yeah. There may be some legal issues, you know, if they've bought stuff um, for this specific project or they've hired people for that specific project. Um, With licensing and stuff like that, of exactly. course. Exactly. They wouldn't be able yeah. to be just like willy nilly. I know, I think MVS had the issue um, a while back, but that seems to have teetered out, so it's fine. But that's not always the case. Um, even if everything was developed in house, I wouldn't like that. I know when Caf, uh, Kafina finished working X to K, and he stopped the project and all development stopped. None of that was republished because he didn't want it to, and he had every right to do that. A lot of people were pissed, but that was his choice, and you gotta respect it. At the end of the day, if you try and take anything away from that content creator without their permission even if they're not doing anything with it anymore, it's disrespectful. Because it is their work and their IP exactly. at the end of the day as well. And it's like exactly. that has to be respected in that sense. But if they make it public, then... You if know, they make it public, then who gives a, who, who cares? But if they don't, yeah. then there you go. Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you very much, Melbourne. Much, much appreciated. Thank you for the 40, 49, I think 499 US dollars super chat. And we love you too. Well, that, even I get asked, asked, I get asked that about uh, about that as well, Mickey. I always, well, not always, but every now and again, I always get questions like, "Oh, do you have any files?" No, it's all gone. <laughs> I wiped it all. Oh, well, not everything, but yeah. But oh. that's 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 the way certain things go, and you just got to respect it. You just got to. Yep. Before we finish off, though, for today. Um. Zizen, when I will release everything when I stop modding, I can't imagine why you wouldn't, to be honest. And that's perfectly okay. If you want to do that, that is well within your right. However, I'm not in the same boat, and that's all right as well. Thank you. Much appreciated. 
but it, at the end of the day it all always comes down to you know yourself if you don't wish to make anything you make like public like the source files you don't have to at all um, but again you do have the right if you want to go for it if you don't you don't have to you shouldn't you, you don't deserve like you don't owe anybody anything if you want to publish your stuff go for it um, but yes before we do finish off like I said before I went back to that uh, one thing I want to reintroduce to the community is something I want to do um, every week um, is I want to showcase your clips I, I want to um, I, I want people to submit the, your clips of stuff that's happened uh, to yourself over the like the past week or whatever um, any funny clips or anything like that showcase and whatever um, send it across to us we'll be more than happy to to go through it obviously we'll review it and we'll put it on the uh, well we'll showcase it on the show at the end of every show we'll um we'll put your we'll put your clips on on stream and we'll post the clips down in chat get people to um you know go to yourselves and give you a follow and watch your content as well something that we used to do and i personally really enjoyed it but i want to start resuming and with that uh, i actually do have a small clip see if i can find it again um i showed this to dump the other day and i couldn't stop crying because it was it just shocked us it's, it's a very short clip from law spirit uh, on the subreddit i will post the video in chat making sure that i'm on video showcase this time so we're all good to go um so it's not even a five second clip five to six second clip Post it in chat. Are you guys uh, have you guys got it open as well? Yep. Right. Okay, three. Are you ready? Yep. Right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I love that clip so fucking much. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about DIY ear piercing, eh? Mm. That was a bit too close. <laughs> I just saw that and I had to showcase it. I'm going to have to watch it again. Wow. <laughs> oh, he definitely took the bullet from that's for sure. That Redditor must be counted as blessings, eh? <laughs> Look who's with me yeah. tonight, not so much him, yeah. Took a bullet for you, he's straight Valhalla, PTSD engaged. Dude, if you didn't even, didn't sidestep, but he would have gotten two heads in one shot, Lamal, you barely missed that. That gunshot sound around, played just like a movie. <laughs> Vapor, it's me in hell and my chest screwed. <laughs> You can see the shooter up in the bush in the hill behind the red house. Did he at least get his killer? But, um, but yeah, it was a fantastic clip. And again, I just had to show that off to people. Um, <clears throat> so we're probably going to be opening up a channel. But in the meantime, you can post your clips into media. Um, just put uh, like a words like clip for the podcast or something like that. And then the title. That way we can sift through it and then we can be like, right, okay, this is definitely going to be for the podcast uh we'll take the time to review it during the week um and then we'll and then we'll showcase it on the show <laughs> thank you very much for the six dollars and 66 cents uh jacob you're a satanic chat of the day Mwah, much love to you ventolin probably yeah yes it is <laughs> ventolin <clears throat> ever since i got um covid my chest has just been boosh not not too great and i've probably got a chest infection as well so oof but it is what it is but it's coming up to that time bit of a shorter one this time bit of a bit. shorter one this this one yeah really really good stuff that's been going on this um this time around um i feel like i'm forgetting something shoutouts no, not that. Spotlights. Not that, no. Hmm. 
the mosque. Talking about the mosque. Yes, there it is. Thank you. How could I forget that? Jesus Christ. Yes, one last thing. Adam slash Sumrak has posted, started posting again about Namalsk. I am really hyped. <laughs> I am really, really hyped. There wasn't any videos, anything like that posted, but it was two images. And I shall put the um, post in chat as well. All upcoming Namask Law has been finalised this week. Exciting times ahead for all the Namask Law enthusiasts. Additionally, the old law docs were proofread by the 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 B the BYs. I think that's how you BYs, yeah. And you won't need a magnifying glass to read it all in the game. All coming up in the content update three: Phoenix Countdown, Phoenix Crew Log ID eight five two two with the with the oil rig with the oil rig. <clears throat> which have been in the file since day one. And the mask will place all the <clears throat> really, really nice. I'm glad that they've gone with this kind of um, GUI because the this one's just so much better compared to the last one. I didn't like it at all, but it done the job. It, it, portray it got across what it needed to. And of course, my response... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> and of course, um, I tell you yeah. what, though, now we just need those lore pieces on the official maps. Imagine that. Oh, that would be so. That would be so cool. That would be so so cool if we actually got something like that. That would be dope. Yeah. But uh, so I've yeah. always said it, you know, just um, <clears throat> just bringing out the old lore of the game, or at least trying to tie it into the Arma series, you know, because I think there's just a a bit of a gap there. For sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's... There. We'll just have to see... Um, actually... I think we should make a push for that. Yes. Read fourth word of the second paragraph. Or rather, I can just read the sixth word of the first paragraph. <laughs> I use capitals, DLJ, thank you very much. I'm a classy guy like that. <laughs> no, but I'm I'm really, really excited. I'm really, really excited to see what um, some Rack and the rest of the Namaz team have come up with this new update. I'm suspecting that the Gauss Cannon that um, uh, Dab and Gorman was developing will be a part of that, but we'll see. Um... Either way, I'm excited, really, really excited. Can't wait to see that. We'll probably see that in 119. If we see it any sooner, I am going to shit. Um, but it is going to be really, really cool regardless. I can't wait to see what happens. But now, finally, finally, with that, we are done for this week. What are your spotlights, guys? Anyone to showcase anything you want to show off? What's happened? Go ahead, Lemons. All right, so there's one person that I'd like to shout out. He's a um, <coughs> he's a relatively small uh, console stream, and he goes by Victory Spams YT or Victory LT YT. on Twitch. Okay, LT. There it is. Yeah, I just sent the link in <coughs> chat. This mad lad streams Zagoria for eleven hours straight. <laughs> oh, wow. 11 hours straight, like no breaks, no stops, no nothing. He, it'd be 11 hours, and he posted the entire VOD on YouTube. If I, can, uh, if I can get to his YouTube channel, I'll send that in chat as well. I was just about but, to say, I haven't seen the first links come through, so if you want to send them to me. And then, wait, did you guys get the, did you get the link dump on your end? I did send yeah. it in chat, but it's just, it's not, um, it's not highlighted. Oh, yeah, so I'll have to send it to you guys personally, though. Yeah, please do. Oh, <clears throat> uh, because you're not a moderator yet. God damn it, Boydy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Boydy. <laughs> Here. That should have just popped up. Oh, look at you using the using the side chat. Oh my god, we should actually use this more. <laughs> New features. You know, that'd be so so helpful to sending our stuff in there. But 
Yeah, you know what? Let's do that in the future. Let us actually do that because I completely forget about that. We'll do that from now on. <laughs> yeah, okay, the chat. Well, 11 hours, those are rookie numbers. <laughs> I, I know, right? Yeah. Try 24. <laughs> but. <laughs> But yeah, that's fantastic. That is that is absolutely brilliant. I, I've, I've been I've actually been trying to um I've been trying to find content creators. I've actually streamed on Zagori because I wanted to try to see if there's more like more stuff that you've you've not shown us or anything like that. Obviously, we don't have the opportunity to. There's a few things. Yeah. I can't I can't spoil what it is, but there's a few things that I've uh, kept kind of hush hush. Mm -hmm. I'm genuinely excited to see when it comes out for PC, if you when it does. Um, so oh B yeah, so B in chat actually is victory chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's him. There well, you there go. There you go. There you go, B. <laughs> Hell yes. Nice. Right. I'm going to be. Um, I'm gonna, not going to watch the whole thing in one go. So that, but I will be checking that out uh, periodically, and I can't wait to see what you're going to be showing off in that video, Le Lemons. But. Can't wait to see. Um, can't wait to check it out. <clears throat> Looking forward to that, my guy. Very nice. Anything else, uh, Lemons? No, I think that's all. But yeah, props to him, man. Like that's. Uh, I wouldn't be able to do that. I would not <laughs> be able you, to do that. And you developed <laughs> it for God's sake. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what mm. about yourself, Dom? What have you got going? I really don't have anything this week, but if I rack my brain, I guess I could call out uh, a, um, an old uh, new Dom player of mine, Chewy underscore zero 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 zero. Right, he's been streaming on Twitch, killing it, uh, and having a lot of fun. He plays with uh, the guest on our show a couple weeks back, Rev. Oh um, right, yes, yes. People. But okay. just a very charismatic person, uh, very fun to watch, <laughs> and uh, they have a lot of fun. Uh, it's uh quite an interesting stream he runs. I, I like it. Link is oh, down in man. chat. So anybody wants to check out Chewy, give them a follow, give them some love. Uh, are they affiliate on Twitch? I um, don't think so. Let me double check. They're just got blind. Uh, yeah, they are affiliate now. Yeah, they are. They must have gone oh. recently. <clears throat> All right. In that case, he plays with Gecko. Oh shit, he does. Okay. Yes. So definitely give uh, Chewy some love. Give them a follow. Subscribe to them if you can. Even if you just spread the word around about them, go for it. It's always nice to see other community members. You know, the creating content. And you know, if they used to be on New Dawn, then nice, good stuff. <laughs> My spotlight. What about you, lad? Hmm. Community. It's it's the community. No, <laughs> that's the default. You got nothing else to go on. It's just like hmm, the community. <laughs> but no, um, I don't actually know. It's been it's been a kind of a wild wild week. Um, there's been so much going on, um, both in the community and Daisy side. It's really really hard to pinpoint. Um, <clears throat> What about? Sorry, not going. Well, it kind of goes up your alley. What about that lighting guy? No, no, I'm joking. Yes. So, what? What? Um, what was his name again? Uh, because I can. He's got a very complicated name. Let's see. It was uh, ALX One F Nine K. Yes. So this guy, <clears throat> this guy, I think we spoke about him on the show before. So he is kind of like specializing in the world lighting config, actually. Um, and some stuff that he has posted recently, which I will um, showcase here. Pardon me. Is that coming up on stream well enough? Yes, it is. <clears throat> so this is the before um, image that he wanted. <clears throat> Fuck's sake. This is one of the before images that he's posted recently in the main chat. And this is the after. So he's really 
how would I say it? He is actually really specialised in how the lighting works in DayZ, and he's really doing some changes. It's much more nice and vibrant. It actually reminds me, and I said this in chat, it reminds me of 0.63 lighting in a sense. That's the kind of vibe I've gotten from that. The shadows are more, um, the more defined, Sharp. I guess you could say. <clears throat> and it's a higher resolution of the shadows. It gives off the effect that there is at least. Yeah. It, yes. Exactly. So, um, the 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 lighting config is easily one of the things that I would love to actually like master and understand. So I, I might actually shoot this guy a message, and be like, hey. Teach me your ways, please, because I don't know shit. Um, but it's great when people um, in the community, especially in the modern community, they come in and they start developing stuff that not many people may understand or touch on and do wonders with it. So I'm excited to see what kind of stuff that he can figure out and work on. Um, and so we'll see if he posts anything more. And if he does, I'll most likely be talking about it because it's a topic that actually really interests me. But yeah, so... There we go. Thanks much for that dump, because I had no fucking clue. <laughs> but yes, he is he's, he's really, really cool. It's good. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming along. It's episode 110 of the Daisy Podcast. It's been an absolutely wonderful show, as always. It's been nice seeing some familiar faces and new ones come in. <clears throat> want to thank everybody for the super chats um, today, uh, tonight. It's been really, really nice. We are definitely going to try and get some guests on. I have been lacking. It's my fault. I do apologize. I know you guys want to get some, uh, have some guests on and not just see uh, Dump and I, uh, like our our ugly mugs, lemons next week. We'll see yours. <laughs> Me, <Yeah>, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but as always, it's been an it's been an honor and it's been a pleasure having. Um, both of you guys on as always it's been lovely you guys take care of yourselves and we shall see you all next week and if we have a guest on we'll let you know take care everyone bye 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 for now take it easy you know the boys you oh my god load a load <laughs> <laughs> and with that everybody <laughs> we are done we are done for episode 110 of the Daisy podcast. It's been nice. It's been, I've actually, I was contemplating whether we should do this one because I've just started my full hour uh, times and it completely took it out of me today. Um, definitely not used to it, but <clears throat> I couldn't just skip another episode. I just couldn't. So we, we got back here again today. We got back here. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the shows. I know that's obviously we used to do it on Twitch, but I hope that you guys are just just YouTube only. Um, I feel like it's been really, really beneficial. Um, I know there has been some comments about the strong the the longer times. Um, we'll not be re uh, reintroducing them at all. I sim like I simply do not have the time in the day to invest in a three to four hour show unless it warrants it. Um, and I do not have the energy. I do not want to be doing a show until two, like one, two o'clock in the morning, um, when I need to sleep, <laughs> to put it bluntly. But it's been, it's been really awesome so far. Seven episodes since I, you know, with myself taking over with the help of Lemons and Dump. Uh, but your support has been absolutely wonderful. It's been really, really great. And I genuinely hope that I continue. To to see you guys come in and, and talk and and just have a good time. I really, really do. It's 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 an absolute wonderful thing. Um, but we will be seeing you same time next Friday. Hopefully we do get a guest on. Uh, this, the, we've got a couple of people in mind, but I just need to get that the, the ball rolling, so I do apologize about that. Um, the previous episode will be going public. This one will be... Uh, unlisted. So for our Patreons, just want to thank them as well and um, for their continued support. We'll be uploading this VOD to them as well. <clears throat> but as always, thank you B. Thank you. It's It's been really, really nice. Um, it's been really, really nice. And 
I know if, if you've been following my social, you'll see that I've applied for the senior artist position at Daisy. <laughs> I just want to say, if I do get the job, I do intend on continuing the show. Obviously, if I do get it, there'll be some things I will not be able to talk about, but I do intend to continue on the show because I'm still in love with the community. I'm still very passionate about you all, and I want to be able to produce that content for you all. Um, but I do want, I, I personally want to continue the show. And if it turns out that I am not able to, then the show will still go on. Absolutely. But who knows? I might not get it, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. <sighs> Lordy Lord. God, I'm tired. <laughs> right. Everybody, much love to you all. Thank you so much for coming along. I really do appreciate it. You all take care. You have a wonderful weekend and I shall see you next Friday. Take care all.